your perfume is not supposed to be announced but discovered so you don't need to put half a bottle of perfume on you for people to compliment you hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be sharing with you my perfume collection this is going to be the high-end version of the video um i will share all the perfumes that i love and that also work pretty much across the year alongside i'll also talk a little bit about how to apply perfume how to what not to do when you apply perfume how to layer perfumes for my perfumes i'll also talk about the notes they have and how long they last and what is their projection etc etc so if you'd like to see my perfume collection then keep on watching The first perfume I want to talk about is Miss Dior. It is the Miss Dior EDP. Um, I think probably this is my first luxury perfume that I got. This is how the bottle looks like. Pretty feminine, pretty cute. It has got a tiny little bow on the cap and um, yeah, just a classic bottle with a nice light pinkish liquid in it. So this is a very floral and a fruity sort of a scent and it has got like a rose scent to it which is very evident so i would say floral rosy is more of the vibe of this perfume it is very fresh irish and rose are the most evident scents for each of the perfumes i'll attach the note chart here but i'll talk about a few evident ones so as i said iris lily of the valley um rose peony i think those are the evident one in this one and again the packaging is so clean so nice um very feminine and this little bow adds a lot of character to the bottle Re looks really like posh okay on to the next one the next one is Burberry. it is a edt perfume this is how the bottle looks like very clean bottle very not very chunky just very clean and simple bottle it has got this greenish liquid in it and it has burberry written right at the bottom engraved in the bottle this is again a floral perfume but it's mixed with a fruity touch when you when you smell it the first thing that you smell is pear and i love that this lasts so long oh my gosh it would last the whole day um and pear gives it such a nice fruity touch with like the floral smell pear just adds on so it's like really complementing the scent it is a sweet perfume but it's very crisp it like smells very fresh and clean if that makes sense it's very everyday perfume very wearable it's something you can wear every day it won't irritate you or others around you because it's very subtle clean and fruity at the same time so the most common sense you get from it is pear is pink pepper it is strawberry honeysuckle lily of the valley and rose yeah also that so yeah obviously it's all here but very clean and nice scent okay on to a very very controversial perfume because those who like it really like it and those who don't absolutely hate it so it is the good girl by carolina Herrera. let me tell you i really like it look at the bottle really really cool if you are into strong and intense perfumes you will like it but if you don't like a strong smell this is not for you it is an intense perfume so trust me just a little spritz go a very long way you cannot and you should not put half a bottle of this on you because it is going to irritate people who are around you this causes headache if you wear it too much so it is one of those perfumes you need you need the tiniest amount and then it's just discovered it has got coffee and almond those are the two very prominent scents it's got musk and orange as well i mean i like it i don't know why it just reminds me of my childhood for some reason like this fragrance i've i've smelt it before when i was a young kid next one is probably my favorite perfume at least currently it's my favorite perfume it is paradox by prada i love this perfume this is so good let me tell you this fragrance is amazing this fragrance i think after it settles is even more beautiful you spray it let it settle to that it is beautiful it is gorgeous and the bottle look at that so cool so so cool i really like the bottle of this perfume you can put it any which way it's 
a bit different i really find it really really cute it is very fun it is very it is very fruity with white floral notes in it and this lasts a very long time and i feel this is a very safe perfume next one i think is a very viral perfume i don't know why it is the ysl black opium perfume it is just a heavy bomb of vanilla and coffee that's what i feel it is again a very rich and an intense um scent tiny amount goes a long way it lasts a really good time as well i'd say it's a bit dark an intense but very rich perfume so obviously you can smell orange blossom vanilla coffee i think those are the three that i smell the most another one of my favorite perfumes it is the ysl libra but this is the ysl libra intense perfume there is just one which is called ysl libra and this is not that another beautiful chic bottle very classy very chic and this perfume after it settles oh my gosh this is the best scent i feel it is so soothing it's so calming it is a lavender based fragrance so once it settles the lavender smells really really fine and it's not like very much like loud and something that's going to irritate you it's very subtle very soothing i don't know why i just find this perfume very very soothing and i love the bicel branding on the perfume as well it really gives that edge to the bottle it's a very long lasting scent it is very spicy scent i would say spicy sweet scent i really find it very refreshing and cozy like a warm hug if that makes sense Going on to the next one is the valentino born in roma green stavaganza perfume it is the edp i think they have edt rest of them this is the first edp i'm not sure but i think so and the bottle i was sold i was sold it is such a beautiful bottle i mean i looked at the bottle and i was like wow this really piqued my interest because of the bottle again very jasmine very vanilla kind of scent but i think the sweetness of jasmine and vanilla is actually cancelled out by the third note which is actually a a tea i don't know what tea exactly it is it's probably written here but the sweetness from vanilla and jasmine is cancelled out and it just balances the whole fragrance really really beautifully it is very unique very versatile very light and breezy kind of a perfume um i think it's very good for night time i personally would wear it as a night scent more than a day scent it smells very fresh summer and nature again as i said it's jasmine vanilla and the tea the next two fragrances are by the same company it is by mason margiela the first one is flower market so it is the replica edition actually both of them are the replica edition so we'll start with flower market so this is how the bottle looks like i think this looks really cool very very chic and first let's talk about the concept so the concept is for you to smell the same memory you have of that place so when i say flower market when you spray it it should actually when you close your eyes you should actually be able to picture a flower market this should smell very much like a flower market and so it does so it's basically the concept of storing a memory in a bottle so when it says flower market it actually talks about freshness about very floral notes it has very sweet and very powdery undertones so it it basically smells like a bouquet of flowers but really really refreshing at the same time so the next one is lazy sunday morning so this is one of my favorite summer scents this is very clean this is very fresh very aqua it's like clean linen like fresh cotton that's how it smells and it so does it say it says the fragrance description is soft skin and bed linen it is provence and period is florence 2003 and it's just a lazy sunday morning it's just very clean and comforting and soothing it is very light airy and it stays for very long which is a plus the next few perfumes are by the same brand again so it is by kayali the first one that i'm going to show you is the yum pistachio gelato edp it is number 33 can i first start with the bottle and that i absolutely love the bottles from kayali they are all similar but they're all so chic and nice i really like the minimal chic design of the bottles this is a beautiful fragrance and it is something you just want to eat this has over 20 notes in it however the ones that you really pick up on are pistachio hazelnut so it it's very creamy and nutty sort of a scent but at the same time it has a musk scent to it as well and even though it's a very sweet fragrance it is not overly sickly so you're not going to feel sick after wearing this this is 
a very nice and very nutty and creamy fragrance next one i think is one of the best sellers from kayali it is their vanilla 28 look at that it's a very dark and a purpley liquid i don't think i've seen something so dark in a bottle pack before it smells like proper vanilla it smells like freshly baked vanilla sponge cake i i don't think so there's any other way to describe it it is pure vanilla in a bottle in a fragrance form it is a very dominant perfume so again you don't have to spray a lot i think it's with most of the kayali perfume you don't have to spray a lot just a tiny bit and it goes a long way and you would think with all that sweetness it would smell very sugary and sweet no it smells very warm i don't know how but it really smells very warm and autumnal and i think that's why i like it it's not extremely sweet and very warm kind of a perfume Ooh, the latest release by kayali it is their candy rock sugar 42 it is a new perfume and it is a very beautiful perfume and the bottle oh my gosh i love this bottle and it smells like a candy shop like a real candy shop when you smell it it it's sweet but i think it has got pear in it as well which cuts down yeah it has it has got pear in it which cuts down the sweetness so doesn't make it overly sickly again and pear is actually giving it a fresher angle i also feel vanilla cream is giving it a very musky angle it smells really fun it smells really sexy it is a light perfume and not very heavy and not very intense it's very fun it is this my favorite perfume it is twilly by hermes i love the bottle especially the little hat and the little scarf which is called twilly so it's actually used in hermes bags to protect the leather but yeah it is a very classy scent it is very white floral mixed with ginger tones it blends very well it settles very well and it has a long projection it's very versatile scent i feel but again it's very rich very upmarket sort of a scent it feels very expensive and sophisticated and um it has a good good lasting power and yeah those are all the high-end perfumes that i wanted to show you i hope i hope that this will help you deciding which ones you want to buy again you can buy smaller versions or you can buy the tester decanters whatever they call before investing in a full-size bottle where yeah, this is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash a big thumbs up comment down below which one is your favorite scent or if there's any other scent that you use and you think is a better version or is a better perfume than the one i have then let me know if you like to stick around don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i shall see you very very soon thanks for watching Bye.